Green flag, next time by. Line up on the outside. Pit road is closed. <laughs> Alright, this is the first time I've been in an IndyCar in about five months on iRacing. I haven't really been doing a lot of official races uh, recently. Um, had a couple bad races in the uh, uh, Dirt Pro late models and uh, where folks were just running each other over. So it's kind of decided to step uh, step away for a little bit. But, like I said, it's been about five months since I've been in IndyCar and I've, I haven't have raced um, iRacing Super Speedway yet since they released it. So I predict this is going to be a bloodbath and full of cautions. But, yeah. Anyways, uh, qualified in the 8th position. I am the number 17 car, which shows you where how much confidence iRacing has in my, uh, you know, where I'm going to be finishing. But hopefully being in the top 10, I might be able to stay in front of some of the wrecks. But I doubt it. Get this show on the road. <clears throat> like I said, I'm number eight. Uh, there are 23 cars in the field today. I don't recognize any of these names. Not that I should. go here we go let's see if we can get out of here cleanly well, what do you know I don't do a lot of asphalt oval races. Mostly doing dirt these days, but uh, when I do official races. So I forget how long these pacing laps are. I just realized it's going to be a little bit of a longer race. I'm used to the short track racing now. Catch four, Kyle. iRacing also uh, introduced uh, a new damage model for the IRA team. Uh, I don't know if it was in this season, this season or the last season, but man, these cars come apart now when they uh, when they wreck. So it's gonna be interesting to see. Hopefully, it won't be my car that is in pieces on the track. Here we go. So we're starting in first to see how this works out. He's blinking. I gotta remember to shift. So apparently these cars are set up to get around the track. If you're doing a solo laps and not in the draft, you're in fourth gear. Uh, in the draft, you'd be in fifth and sixth. Apparently, that's what that's what I saw on one of these uh, I racing help guide things. All right, people are getting people are getting nuts on the second lap. We got about 38 laps to go. Uh. 
there's a dip when you're getting into the getting into the turn there and it kind of loosens the car up a little bit I think oh that's zero zero X I think Still keeping up in the draft, but I think the uh, damage is limited. getting crazy on lap three. We're on lap four. Going three wide and shit. Alright, let's go, 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 go. Push it, push it, push it. Oh man, I lost it. Oh, 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 they're wrecking behind me. Let's see it in my review. <laughs> it shows I have another 0x. I don't think I hit anybody. Uh, I hope I didn't cause that. Well, anyhow, these are some long, long pace laps. So, let's see you on the other side of this one. All right, so this is only lap seven now. I did not get fuel or tires. I'm assuming there's going to be. I'm assuming there's going to be more uh, caution, so I'll get I'll get some fuel and tires on the next caution. All right, let's do this. stick to this guy here. I gotta play the long game. Gotta play the long game. I can't be trying to go, you know, it's not important that I leave the race right now. It's, that's for the last 10 laps. Right now I'm just trying to stay in the race. I'll start pushing, really pushing to try to get out ahead of this guy or whoever's out front whenever, whenever we're in the last 10 laps of the race. On this in this guy's draft and uh, and stay on the inside line and we should be able to stay out front. Going 
three wide again. <laughs> I just got to concentrate about, you know, I got to concentrate on getting around these corners and not drifting up when I get into the corner. So I have to look past this car ahead of me and just watch the line. Because if I focus on his car, I turn in too late. I got to look out ahead of what he's doing. Going three wide, man. Form a line and go. Coming up on lap 17, I am shocked that we haven't had a caution already. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to start thinking about maybe pitting under green here.
I'm going to try to uh, stretch it out as long as possible because I do not want to pit. And then there's the caution or something. Hit, lose a lap. This is a, a really big track, so there's a good chance to get out ahead, get out of the pit before they come around, but uh, as quick as these cars are going, I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, man. Keep a hold of it. Tempting fate with this three right, uh, three wide crap. That's my English apparently. Car's getting a little bit loose into those corners. I can't believe there hasn't been a caution yet. As long as we hold this inside line, those guys up top aren't going to be able to get past us. I don't know how much fuel I have left, though. Uh, I can't believe there hasn't been a caution yet. This is a big track, so I guess it's a little, a little harder to get into other people. But. They're sure trying. I'm trying to I'm trying to stay on this guy's tail, but it's hard to do when I'm switching to Oh yeah. I got about five laps. Yeah, folks are starting to pit. Oh, is that a caution? Oh, I hope that's a caution. No caution? <laughs> What's he complaining about? Apparently nothing happened. Oh, 
All right. It, I'm going to have to pit here in a couple laps because uh, it doesn't look like there's going to be a caution. Less than two gallons. Be able to make it to the end. trying to stretch this out. I'm hoping there's a caution so I don't have to pit under green, but I'm going to have to pit on this next one here. Man. It's going to hurt. Yeah, less than a lap. All right, well, I really hope there's not going to be a... Back it down, back it down. I'm hoping there's not going to be a caution while I'm in here or something. <laughs> or right after I exit. Try to get out of here before, uh, before I get lapped, though. Where's my, where's my pit box? Oh, there we are. Too far, too far. All right, let's do this. Hurry up, hurry up. Um, good That's for now. Go. Let's go. Right, stay on the lead lap. Stay on the lead lap. Oh, here comes the leader. I'm going to go a lap down, I think. Oh, uh, yeah, there he goes. God damn it. So hopefully he has to pit, because I'm a lap down to him, but that's it. Everybody else is a lap down, too, it looks like. And I have nobody to draft with right now. Oh, good. Okay. All right, got my lap back. There are no lucky dogs in any car, so if there had been a caution, I would have been stuck a lap down. Okay. But now I'm... I don't know where I'm at. It says eight. They haven't updated the numbers yet. The positions. It takes a damn long for them to update. Oh, this guy's messed up. Missing half his ass. 
I was hoping to draft with him, but he's slower than I am right now because he's damaged. Alright, well I have 10 laps to try to, what is he trying to compete for me for a position? Oh yeah, he's uh, he's on the same, same lap as I am. He's on the lead lap, so I guess it makes sense. He's fitting now, apparently. I'm almost seven seconds behind behind the next guy, so I I'm, this is going to have to be a miracle, maybe a wreck in front of me or something for me to be able to get uh, make up some, you know. If there's a caution, then I can get back in uh, with the leaders, and I'll be able to uh, maybe try to push through the front. But if there's no cautions, I mean, shit, we've gone. There was a, a caution on lap four, I believe, and that was it. All the numbers in front of me are all jumbled, jumbled up, so I can only, I believe they're all fighting for position up there, so maybe, maybe they'll get into each other and cause a caution and I'll be able to get up there. Because they're all, oh, now it's four, five, six. Yeah. Well, we'll see. So, kind of boring right now, though. I'm all by myself. say the fourth fourth gear was for solo driving on this track. It doesn't feel like the faster gear. It just feels more comfortable to drive in fifth gear. starting to hurt. I got a G2, GT Omega. I can't speak English today. I got a GT Omega uh, Pro cockpit and a GT Omega seat. And while the seat's comfortable except for the, except for the back. Long, longer races, it starts hurting my back. And it's starting to hurt my back right now. Numbers are jumbled up, so they're fighting. Fighting for position up there. Five more laps to wreck it. Come on, guys. Put each other in the wall. Wreckers are checkers, right?
This is one of the cleanest indie car races on iRacing that I have ever been a part of. In my memory, anyways, that I can recall. I mean, I'm, I'm kind of in no man's land out here. Folks on the lead lap, the nearest one's about nine seconds ahead of me. The guy behind me on the lead lap's about almost nine seconds behind me. So I'm, I'm just stuck out here by myself. Nobody to draft with. <laughs> Nobody's wrecking. Which in any other race would be a good thing, but I had to pit under green, and it just kind of put me out here by myself. So, ah, all right. are all mixed up. They're still fighting. Two more laps. That's a good thing, too, because my back is killing me. I'm going to have to figure out another seat or something. Hold on now. Hang on now. Who's this? It's slowing down to make sure I don't get tied up in it. <laughs> How is it? And there's number three, and there's number three. Did I pick up spots? I had to have picked up spots. There was only one guy a lap down ahead of me. So where'd I, where'd I finish? <laughs> I got lucky. I got lucky right on the last lap. They were fighting for that first position and they got into each other. And I don't even know where I finished. I don't even know where I finished. It says second. I think I got second. <laughs> As it should be. Too bad the leader didn't wreck too. All right, this is the big one here. This one took out a lot of daggone cars in my rearview mirror. And uh, in the most spectacular fashion, too. I mean, it, it took out about half the field, I think. Oh, maybe a third of the field. So going into the corner, there's a bit of a dip, and I think it made me turn down a little bit into the car below me. And uh, even though I don't think it, I actually hit him, uh, it gave me a 0x. So let's examine that a little further. So here's the car that was right behind me that I supposedly hit. And I'm right here. It comes down, and I think it net codes, and then he net codes into the car below him. And it just takes the field out. But look how spectacular. Look at that tire that just fucking flew up in the air. I think they did a damn good job setting up these cars to come apart like that. They look great. Anyways, I wanted to show you this. This guy decides to drop out of the pack and uh, kind of drop to the back a little bit. 
this is from the roll bar here, and this is the big one that happens right in front of him, right after he dropped out of the pack. And like something out of Days of Thunder, he's running through smoke, and cars are just washing down to the bottom to the apron, and he makes it through. But I thought that was kind of cool, and I figured I'd add it. All right, this is the Series of Rex on the last lap that uh, basically handed me a second-place finish. Uh, they're just competing so hard to try to try to win this race. And like I was hoping would happen, uh, they all got together and took each other out. So really kind of worked out for me. Uh, this guy tried to make it. Look how that left front tire just comes off the ground like a dirt car. Suspension's so messed up that you can't even get it around the track anymore. So he's done. All right, so this is the, uh, you see this car here, the red and blue one on the bottom. I don't know what car it is. He kind of dives down, takes the blue car out, which takes the green car out. And what literally handed me my second place finish. So anyhow, that's the race. I got second. I'll take it. Kind of lucky there on the, really lucky there on the last lap. Anyhow, you guys have a great day. I'll see you in the next race. Who knows when that, that'll be. Take it easy.